Hello, my loves, and welcome back. It has been it has been a while. I have birthed a child since we last spoke, and wow, it has been a wild ride. Ronnie was three weeks old when I started filming this this vlog. I thought I was just gonna snap straight back into making YouTube videos and having the time to sit and edit and upload it. I was honestly kidding myself because that just never did happen. Yeah, now he's at three and a half months now, and honestly, he is amazing. And I feel like. You can hear him. You can hear him downstairs. He's very vocal. When he's not the centre of attention, he's like, Bruh. I think he's just chatting with Miss Rachel downstairs. Anyway, I just wanted to start this video off because I literally just go straight into the video. There was a bit of footage where I was like sat talking to the camera and as I was doing my makeup, but the footage wasn't great. So I ended up cutting all that out. So then I just sort of jumped straight into the video. No introduction or anything like that. I just wanted to just come on obviously introduce the video first of all, introduce little Ronnie Roo, which I'll, I'll bring him up in a minute. I just wanted to say to any new mums out there, anyone who's just birthed a child or anything under that bracket, or even if not, I just want to say you are doing an amazing job. If no one tells you that you're doing an amazing job, hear it from me because this has been probably the hardest three months of my life. I'm blessed. Like, I had a really great pregnancy, which I know I am so, so lucky. And Ronnie is a great baby. He's amazing. He doesn't, he's not, like, he's very vocal. You can hear him, but he's not crying. Like, he doesn't, he only cries when he's hungry. Certainly the first sort of six to eight weeks, I thought I was going insane. And I'm just here to let you know that you are, you're not going crazy. Um, it's just it's just a wave you've got to ride it and I feel like if I was to do this again which I don't think we will <laughs> but if I was to do this again I, th I feel like I'd be amazing the second time round because I kind of know what to expect now whereas I did not I did not know what to expect and obviously you don't because why would you if you've never had one before but yeah I I just I wanted to be honest and there are bits when I've edited this video back I've sort of second guessed myself a lot and said, oh, am I being really negative? Do I sound like I'm mourning? Because I know, I know how blessed I am to have this child. And like, believe me when I say that I, I, am, I am well aware of that. But that doesn't take away from the fact that I haven't found it easy. I have found it really, really difficult. I feel like because I am quite, my life is has to be structured. I have to have routine. And when you have a newborn, that goes straight out of the window. There is no no structure no routine in the beginning like it just doesn't happen but if i can give you one key piece of information which i wish i'd done sooner and i feel like if i'd done it sooner i probably would have potentially maybe found it a little bit easier god i play with my hair so much and i do it during this video as well and it's really irritating so sorry about that yeah if i could give you one key piece of information it would be to go to baby group sooner because once you step foot into a baby group just know that everybody's in the same boat. And for some reason I thought I'm, I'm gonna get the, everyone's gonna be organized on time. I'm gonna have to go and get him because he's shouting. Let me introduce you to my new co-pilot, my new star of the show. This is Ronnie. Mwah! He's not impressed. Since going to baby groups, I've realized that I am not going insane and that everybody is in the same boat. Like you're not alone. And I feel like sometimes being a new mum, it's a bit lonely sometimes, which sounds a bit daft because obviously, You've got your little baby with you all the time but anyway yeah i thought i'm just gonna upload it anyway because i wanted to get some sort of content out and start the ball rolling again with youtube and stuff just wanted to be completely honest and um open i really take my hat off to any new mums out there because it's not an easy ride it is not obviously you expect the sleepless nights and things like that but it's everything else that comes into it obviously your lifestyle completely changes there are so many things that you need to do during the course of the day and then by the end of it you feel like you've done nothing by the end of it it's all worth it and let me tell you now like three months in and i feel like we're finally establishing a little bit of a routine so i'm getting our lives together now and ronnie's getting his, into his own little routine his little sleeping routine and patterns and it's I just want to tell you that it does get easier because I, I just wish I could go back to myself like four weeks in sort of say just enjoy it like it's hard but enjoy it because you will miss this it's so cliche and everybody says it and until you live through it you don't really know like I spent a lot of my time worrying and upset that I wasn't doing enough or I wasn't doing things right and that time sort of passes you by then and instead of being in the moment you sort of just spend it worrying 
Um, so yeah, I'm here to tell you that you are doing an incredible job. If you're not at three and a half months yet, then look forward to it because I feel like every baby's different and you might be at three and a half months and still be finding it hard. And but just let me tell you, it does get easier. Mwah. Honestly, you must have about 5,000 kisses a day. Not so much when I've got makeup on, but I did my tan the other night for the first time. I'm since giving birth. Oh my God, and I feel like a new woman. I do. The battery's about to die. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy it. And I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye. See you later. Oh, my angels absolute change of plan this is just ha just what happens the midwives come when you come home they come the day after they keep coming they do they keep coming every couple of days um, and then they wear baby and if the baby has lost weight which most babies do they come every two days to keep weighing the baby i didn't know all this and they don't tell you a time you don't get a time. And so you end up stuck in. I wasn't actually expecting a midwife to come today. I didn't know there was anybody coming. I was just on my way out and um, she pulled up. So, Bonnie is now due a feed. Uh, the dog walk is off because it's absolutely lashing it down now. But I was, I was heading out for a dog walk, but that's not happening anymore. Unless the weather decides to clear up and the sun comes out, which isn't gonna happen. On a positive note, so they've just weighed him. And Ronnie lost, um, about 8.4% of his weight, which is pretty normal. So basically newborns can lose between 8 and 10% of their body weight after they've been born. And it's nothing to worry about. It's pretty normal. It happens. Like I said, the midwives do keep coming back just to keep checking on his weight. And uh, now he's put 200 grams back on. And so, yeah, so that's positive. So I'm happy about that. Then they'll come again next week, basically, they keep checking him until he goes back to his birth weight, which was eight pound one. Didn't they don't have any concerns, and obviously he's a very happy, healthy little baby. As long as he's producing um, dirty nappies and wet nappies, that's a good sign. Oh, I don't think I've mentioned as well that he's on breast milk, but we're combi feeding as well, so he does have formula as well. This is a lot of information. So. For now, I'm gonna have to take Charlie's harness off. Poor, poor lad. We're not, we're not going for a walk now. It's absolutely lashing it down. Yeah, I found the key is just not to. It sounds like, I don't know, like it's so easy for other people to say it, uh, but obviously it was me last week just worrying too much and worrying about what he's eating and how much he's eating and being focused on. Oh, he's not had his full three ounces at like three a.m. and and being like, oh, that's why he's losing weight. And the key is just not to overthink and not to over worry because sometimes he might not finish a full bottle at a certain time. Like if it is 3 a.m. and he's half asleep, he won't finish a full bottle. Whereas if it's the middle of the day, he'll have his full bottle and then he'll still be hungry. So he'll have a little bit extra. So the key is just not to stress, not to worry. And it is so hard. Like so hard not to stress and worry and the amount of times that I've just burst into tears going I can't feed my baby and he's the happy healthy he's not worrying and the more you stress I, I think about it like this like when he was the same when he was in my belly the more you stress and worry the more stress and worried he's gonna feel that's no good for anybody the first few days the first week I mean even now it's it is hard but I can see light at the end of the tunnel. I feel like I'm establishing a little bit more of a routine and 
sort of getting my life together. Like when I went out for that walk yesterday, oh my God, I feel like I completed, I'd completed something big. Like I felt like I'd just like won an award. A little bit gutted about the weather today, not gonna lie, because I really did want to go for a walk. Um, but it's absolutely torrential rain and that would not be good for any of us. Also, all my Christmas decorations are up. I really wanted to do like a Christmas decoration video, but I, that just, we just never, that just didn't happen. We decorated the house. I was like three days overdue, three or four days overdue. Um, and we put the tree up because we wanted to come home with all the decorations already up. Because let me tell you, if we didn't do that whilst I was pregnant, there would have been absolutely no time to do that like there would be no Christmas decorations up in this house I'll be honest hello good afternoon good afternoon welcome back it's been it's been a while it's been a while in all honesty I've like been waiting for like the perfect day to start vlogging again and like I'm like I, in my head I'm like the house needs to be tidy all the washing needs to be done in order for me to start vlogging again and literally I've just come in from a baby group on his first little baby group I've still got my my rucksack on my my bag, we're unorganised, the house is an absolute shit all. But I just thought if I don't start now, then when will I start? So hello, good morning, happy Thursday. Happy two month postpartum. Yeah, so like I said, I've just got in from a baby group. The house is an absolute mess, but you know what? I think it always was anyway, but also mum life. I feel like I've been waiting for the perfect, waiting for the perfect day to start, to come back to YouTube and film video and, um, there will be some footage, I'm not sure whereabouts I will have put it. About three weeks in, I did start filming like a bit of a day in the life, but then I feel like I've got so much to say. I'm like, I need to just like cram it all in. Um, yeah, I think after, I think I was going for a walk or there was something I was doing that day and I was like getting myself all like in the headspace of taking a little Ronnie out for a walk and, and then the midwife turned up and then I ended up having a breakdown and when I say breakdown, like little bit, little bit dramatic, little bit dramatic, but that's how the last two months have been. Like they have not been easy, let me tell you. No, I do not. So little Ronnie moves asleep. Like I said, we've just come in. I feel like I'm just so much verbal diarrhea. Yeah, like, I, I mean, obviously I started this YouTube channel to be real and be honest. And that is what I want to continue and always be like that. And for some reason in my head, I was like, no, I'm gonna have to, put a day aside where I sit down and I have a big old chat and um, go off notes and stuff, but that's not how my channel is. Like, I just come on and just chat shit. Like, and not, like none of it makes sense. But yeah, motherhood is not, it's not easy. It's amazing, but it's not easy. But also I don't want to be like putting a dampener on things because it is the most amazing thing in the world. And it's so hard to explain. I'd never wanted to be one of them mums that was like, uh, until you have a child or if you know, you know. But like, if you're watching this because you're due to have a baby or you've just had a baby or you're in any similar situation to me, like this video is for you, just to know that you're not alone. I don't think, I don't know anybody that does find it easy. And I think, I feel like social media is very much, obviously it just shows you all the the highlights. And I posted a video myself this morning of um, a few videos that I've got of, of Ronnie over the past two months and they are highlights. Like I obviously wouldn't film myself crying because I can't get enough milk or from my boobs, not from Tesco, <laughs> or crying because I haven't managed to um, take the washing out of the dryer or I've gone upstairs to change Ronnie and there's loads of clothes all over his changing mat and I've got hold of him and he's screaming and I start crying. Crying because I've not been able to feed myself. <laughs> I can laugh now, I can laugh, but it's not funny really. Um, I think on the video, on the clips, what I will have included at some point during this whole talk, or what I will, will include at some point, one word to describe how I was feeling and how I do still feel and probably will do for the next 18 years is overstimulated. Overstimulated is the only word I can use to, to describe how I feel each and every day. Some days I feel like I have really got my shit together today. Like today I got up, I didn't get up super early, but I got up, I bathed Ronnie and then I fed him and then I took him to a baby group which I've never taken him to a baby group before. And in my mind, everyone was gonna be there on time. 
everyone was going to be sorted, know what they're doing. I got there, the group started at like 10.45. I got there, there was like three people there and then everyone else coming after me and I was rushing about like, rushing about like a headless chicken this morning feeling like I needed to be there on time because everybody else was going to be on time and I'm going to be the only one that's going to walk in. Holding my, my child with my rucksack all unopened and all the nappies strewn out the back of it and there's still half a bottle of milk because he didn't finish his feed and I didn't get time to finish it. Like, in my head, like, I was going to be the only one that wasn't on time and that wasn't... When in actual fact, we were all in the same boat. Like, there was babies being fed whilst I got there. It was just so relaxed and if I can give you one piece of information that I wish I'd known. I'm going to give you so much information. I feel like I've learned so much in the last two months and I want to give that all to you. And I'm still learning and I still will be. I am so brand new at this and it's everything is a massive learning curve. I'm just keep folding this one pair of pants up like, and I've got a massive pile of washing these folding. Yeah, if I can give you one key piece of information that I wish I'd, I wish I'd done this sooner was to take him to baby groups sooner. Not not for Ronnie, for me. It's so nice to be around mums that are in the same situation as you. Um, I spent the first few weeks, as much as I would go out for like little walks and stuff, but just in the house. I'm feeling quite lonely, don't get me wrong, obviously Stefan's here and um, he has a... He did take a couple of weeks off and then like, especially over Christmas and stuff, but it is such... I feel like being a mum can, can be lonely. But it can also not be lonely if you you take certain steps such as like finding people in the same situation as you go into baby group there's so many free baby groups definitely around like where i'm from so i'm assuming everywhere else will do the same but it's just nice to know that you're not alone and there are people in in your situation and in your shoes and i don't know i feel like i'm just like i've just got a lot to say in the coming weeks and months over the next well, forever because I'm now a mum. I want you to share this journey with me and obviously I am open to taking any advice if anyone's got anything, any advice to other new mums that they want to share in the comments. I have not found it easy um, and I will openly admit that and I can say that today without crying because some days I am on the verge. Oh, that's what I was saying. Some days I feel like I've got, I've got, it, I've got it together and I'm like, I've cracked it and this is our routine now and this works really amazing and then the day after something different can happen and and then I and then I feel like I'm back to square one again. Yeah, I don't want this to be negative like I'm not trying I'm not trying to be negative, I'm just trying to be honest. But yeah, I've missed I've missed doing YouTube and I've missed everything about that and like posting things on Instagram. I don't really tend to do that much anymore. Because like some days, like if I like if I've done a night feed and then I'm in bed then till say nine, ten o'clock. I don't get a shower like first thing whilst Stefan's still in the house. Like put some makeup on, then that's me for the day. Like sometimes I can still be in my pajamas in the afternoon, and that's fine. Like that is fine. I am on maternity leave, so that is fine because I think it's hard because I am not. I'm not a relaxing kind of person. I'm not a sit back and put my feet up and watch the telly all day kind of person. And if that's you, then that is amazing. The fact that like. For me, I just give myself a hard time all the time and that's another thing. Like, please do not ever... Sorry, I'm just like folding Stefan's boxes up. These things have got to be done. I remind myself of this every single day. Every single day. Stop giving yourself a hard time. Like, you don't need to have all your shit together every single day. I feel like I've said that about 50 times already. Everything comes together. It really does. Some days you have it all together and some days you put a white sock in with all the black stuff. Yeah, I just wanted to pick up the camera and just start something, anything. Because like I said, today is one of them good days where I feel like I'm having a good day. And, I, and I'm putting that down to the fact that I've been out this morning, got up and out and been around other adults. It's quite a touchy subject. Like mums can be so judgy. <laughs> we are combi feeding Ronnie, which basically means that he has some breast milk and some formula. Some days he has more breast milk than others, depending on my supply. Breast milk in itself is a whole journey. It's hard. Some people find it easier than others. Some people produce more milk than others do. And the amount of times that I've Googled, why is my milk supply drying up? Why am I not getting enough milk? And then like the top one was like, stress is what's causing. But then you're stressed because you're not producing enough milk. But then you try not to be stressed so that you produce more milk, but then 
just a whole cycle like that is something that I was quite naive to when it came to breastfeeding I was just like I want to breastfeed I want to breastfeed and didn't look I didn't look far enough into it but even if I did I think I would have still done it and I'm still glad that we're doing it the way we are I think combi feeding is great because it takes it takes off so much pressure from the mum in the hospital like, I felt like I was very much a failure because Ronnie would latch onto me but then not really drink any milk so then they were like cup feeding him like I could do a whole video on that I'm gonna bore you with this like this is just a general like catch up yeah I joined this group when I was like I'm not getting enough milk I'm not getting enough milk I joined this breastfeeding UK group on Facebook I can't don't quote me because I can't remember what the group was called and um this one particular day like I'd I'd express like every two hours because they were saying if you the more you express the more you'll produce so I was doing it every two hours for like 15 minutes at a time to half an hour sometimes and let me tell you that was draining like it was absolutely draining and I would literally get like not even an ounce and that really mentally took its toll on me so I was like crying and then Stefan's like the more you get stressed the less you're going to produce and anyway I took to this group I took a picture of my the cups that I were with the little tiny bit of milk in the bottom and I was basically just venting to other mums and I explained how much how old Ronnie was at the time how much formula he has or how much we're feeding him per three hours and just basically I was just like please girls tell me I'm not going mad um like why am I only getting this much and some some of the women were really really nice really helpful very much like maybe you're not you've not got the right size flange I think it's called <laughs> bit that actually sits on your nipples you've not got the right size or you know um, don't stress like some of the women were really nice and then there was like quite a few or quite a vast amount that were like why are you not feeding him from the breast I hadn't mentioned whether I was feeding him from the breast or not obviously part, part of the time I am because he does still latch even though he's bottle fed he still latches onto me and still gets milk from me and sometimes that's what I do I just didn't put that on the post like the amount of milk that you're giving him stretching his stomach like they were just like there was just so much so many comments like they were like boom 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 like these, these women must sit on this group ready and waiting to pounce on anyone that posts on it and I just didn't find it helpful like in fact that made me cry even more I was like oh no what am I doing I'm doing everything wrong and so yeah so that was quite difficult oh, I feel like I feel like the whole time I've been talking it's like been negative and I don't want I don't want that because much of it is is can be negative and hard this much is amazing so but I'm just I just want to be real and be honest and not be like oh every day is rainbows and unicorns and everything is incredible and so easy because it isn't so yeah whether I'll post this or not who knows I might not even post it but yeah I just don't want this to come across negative just let's not even talk about the hair, I don't want to talk about it. This is why I wear a hat the majority of the time because otherwise this is what I look like. Anyway, I am going to do a separate video on like my essentials, what I think are absolutely essential with a newborn. just have to mention this, just why I'm on the subject, my bottles. Now, I know people that use the Tommy Tippies and we got a shed load of Tommy Tippies before Ronnie was born. Um, and bottles are bottles like you, your baby will feed from them but some struggle to feed from some type certain type of bottles anyway tried the tummy tippies they were literally like he was just milk was just everywhere i had just one of these i got it in like a like a bit of a goodie bag thing that we went when we did the gender scan and luckily we had one in in the house so we tried that and it worked wonders so then we went and bought a few more not cheap i don't know what they are in terms of the tommy tippies that we got were a gift so i don't know how much they were they're not the cheapest bottles but they are so worth it and you can sterilize them so they literally come apart let me show you got a little uh, spag ball on the go in the slow cooker that is the way forward now yeah so they come apart in like one two three four parts you unscrew the bottom put a little bit of water in um pop the teat there place that on top i tend to screw it a little bit just so it fits in the microwave then put that little bit on top microwave three minutes absolutely stunning love that just wanted to mention that um it is feeding time at the zoo this is my current little setup i've got molly may on the go milk warming up there and i've got my little barocca 
afternoon, darlings. It's now 12 o'clock, bless you. I've just put Ronnie down for a little nap. I look horrendous, I feel horrendous. I did think I was on the back end of this cold and I, I thought it was like leaving, leaving my soul, but it's not, it's absolutely not. Just put the heating on and put a jumper on because I am freezing and I've not had a shower yet, so that's cool, but oh my God, I've got hair in my eye. I've put Ronnie down for like a little nap so I can get some stuff done and you have like a very short window of where you've got to prioritise things and me having a shower is not at the top of my priority list. Have I even put deodorant on today? I don't think I have, but I have brushed my teeth, so that's a thing. I'm actually asleep, he's flailing his arms about, this is fantastic. But he was getting a bit grouchy, a bit tired, so like I said, I've just put him down and now I need to eat because I've had a boiled egg and a banana. So... We're on two meals today, woohoo! So a big part of like getting back to myself, which is what I kind of wanted this vlog to be about. Well, I feel like my channel's just gonna be now focusing on obviously being a mom, but also just like finding myself again and um, incorporating Ronnie into that life and doing things, finding things that I enjoy now as a mom. I feel like a big part of my daily routine, I'm going off on a tangent here, but something I really enjoy is going for a walk. So it's like the highlight of my day, like getting my carrier on, putting Ronnie in it, going for a walk. It's like the best, one of the best parts of the day. There are many good parts of the days, but like that's like my favorite thing to do. But when it's like this, where it's like gray, it's not stopped raining, it's miserable it can feel quite trapping. Like I want to get Ronnie out and I want I want him to like get some fresh air on his little face and but when it's like this it's just like not really ideal. But anyway, what I was saying was a big part of getting me back is eating, getting some proper meals into me. So like I say, it is 25 past 12 and I had a banana before I went to the gym this morning and a cup of coffee and then I come in from the gym and I had a cup of coffee and um, a boiled egg, just one boiled egg. Stunning. Last night I prepped and dinner. I've not prepped anything since I was pregnant, I don't think. I did myself a chicken salad to have for my dinner today because I find that when I get hungry, I'm like, right, I want something quick. That short period of time, like when I put Ronnie down for a little nap, because that period is so short, I think, can I really be bothered like getting pots and pans out and making myself a proper dinner, which is not, not the mindset, definitely not the mindset, but you've got to be, you've got to have things in that are quick to eat. I've obviously come to this realisation. So last night I thought I'll make myself a little chicken salad, but with the weather today and I'm Baltic and I'm full of a cold, do I really want a chicken salad? Like, is that the vibe? Definitely not for today. We've got some chicken soup in the fridge that Stefan's mum made for us a couple of days ago. Let me check if it's still good. my life oh ding we're done we have some chicken noodle soup ronnie is not he's not happy he's not a happy boy but he's been fed he's been changed i don't know how you feel about leaving a crying baby to cry i mean he's not actually crying he's just like whinging if i was to pick him up every time he whinged i'd have a hold of him all day do you know what i'm saying he's his mother's son He's a bit of a drama queen and he does like a good old whinge. So it's definitely got my personality. Completely contradicted myself there. Ronnie was still screaming the house down. I, I haven't finished my chicken noodle soup. So it's actually gone cold now, but I am still absolutely starving. So I will finish it. But let me tell you, this boy was screaming the house down. You would have thought that, oh, no, the dog wants to go out stunning it literally sounded like he was being murdered and i was like is there actually someone up there anyway i picked him up out of his little crib carried him down and now he's happy as larry i am still learning still learning like what is a, a tired cry like i thought he was tired because he was very whingy obviously he'd been fed changed all that so i was like so why are you crying now so i thought surely he must be tired put him down he must have had like five minutes and then like he was like whinging and then it turned into a quite a significant cry. And now we're happy as Larry.